Right you guys, got another video here for you. This one was a video request on how to use the Windows 10 photo app. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to use it. So first off, what you need to do is go down to the search and type photo, and this will allow you to open up the photo app. Now you can create uh, awesome videos with this application. It is built into Windows 10, so go up to, so click on the video projects, and then we can add a new video project. Now once we've got this done, all we need to do here is give it a name. So we're going to call ours Car Show and uh, we're going to click OK here and that will be our name. And now all we need to do here is add in uh, some images. So go to the project library and click add from this PC, from my collection or from the web. So depending on what you want to get your images from, we're going to get it from my PC. And you can see I have a bunch of images here, which are car images. So we're just going to click OK and add those to here. All I need to do now is pull these down to the story uh, board here. And you can see it's put them in a sequence and they all have their own little timestamp, which is three seconds. So we can change this up and we can also manipulate what we want to do here. So let me just uh, right click on this and you can see here duration. So I'm going to change the duration for these images because they're only going to be displayed for three seconds and I want to make them display for say seven seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and change the duration for each of these videos to seven seconds. This will give it time to display and also put a little bit of text on there and also have a, a bit of an effect. So that's what we're going to aim for here. Now you can change yours to five seconds whatever it is that you want to change yours to. So I'm just going to go through here and change these to seven seconds. Now, of course, what we can do once we've done this is uh, do some other stuff to our little uh, video here, which we're going to create. So I've got a couple of more to go here. That's now done. Now what we can do here is we need to remove any sort of black lines you can see them black bars here on the images so what I'm going to do is right click and go resize and remove black bars and this will then put the images into position where I need them so I need to do this on the ones that have black bars on them now you can see it's a bit of a timely process but it's worth doing because it adds to the overall effect once it's finished so I'm just going to go ahead and do these there we go I'm just going to run through here. Now this program is built into Windows and it does have quite a bit of uh, power to it and you can get some really nice effects with this uh, particular application. There's probably a lot of people that don't even use it for this but you can actually do some nice uh, videos here. So let's go ahead and just remove all these. I've just got a few more to go here and there you go. So it does actually uh, resize and zoom the image in here. So you may lose a bit of the image, but it's not too much of a problem. Okay, that one's okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the next stage. And that is using the built-in filters. So what we're gonna do is add a filter to some of these images. Now I'm not gonna spend vast amounts of time going through every image. I'll just use certain images to show you how you can use filters. So as you can see, it has a bunch of uh, filters in here like classic and brassy and uh, sepia and stuff like that. So it just adds a little filter to these photos. And I think sometimes it just adds a little bit of age and a bit of lift to that image, uh, contrast and things like that. So you can see here, I just want to uh, change this a little bit here. So we'll go into the filter and uh, this one needs to be cooled down a little bit. So I might use a little blue filter on here. Just go through, you just click on them and it will change it. So that's a bit too orange. That looks quite nice, but sepia. Uh, but I'm probably gonna go for iceberg or something like that because it just freshens it up and makes it look a little bit clearer in the background. So I'm just gonna add that in. Now I'm not gonna bother with the other ones, but you can go through all your images and just add those in. Now there's also 3D effects up there and motion and text and stuff like that, which we're going to cover as well. So you've got the 3D effects. I'm not going to add any of these in, but you can see them here. And uh, this is probably for some sort of uh, 
other sort of effect that you want to add to your photo and I'm not going to be doing that in this uh, project so let's go to motion I'm not going to add a motion in I'm going to add a theme in but I just want to show you the motion thing just in case you was interested so we can click on this one here zoom out right or you've got pan left and you can add which one you want in and then play it back and you can see the little motion that it adds into your uh, video there so it's just panning left and you can do the zoom in you can undo it as well so let me show you what I'm going to do for all of my uh, theme here so I'm going to add a new theme in so go up to the top right hand side with the three dots and uh, what we want to do is add a custom theme now these themes will automatically add in some panning and zoom in and it'll also add in some background music as well you can actually uh, add those in yourself but you can see it will add filters and all that sort of good stuff they also add text in but you have to add that in manually you can see depending on what type of video you're trying to build this will add those in for you so it's now changing the theme and adding all our photos in from the storyboard so every bit of that theme has been added to these images you can see it's changed that image a little bit there so if I push play now you will see that it's going to add a bit of panning and zooming automatically to that sort of storyboard that we've just created there so that's now starting to look nice there's some music added in there but I have muted the music because of obviously copyright reasons and uh, we're just not going to do that so now we can add in some text so let's add some text to these images so first off we're going to have a, a start middle and an end so you do need to add in a starting point so that's what we're going to do here so I'm just going to add in some text here so this will be the intro to your video uh, basically so I'm going to add this in that looks quite nice that suits that there but I'll just show you some others here by clicking on them it will change what you can see here so depending on what you're trying to look for you can have it up the top that looks quite nice and also you can have it like this there's a bunch of other effects on it. I'm not going to go for them all but you get the general idea so I'll leave it on this one just for this video you can have it at the side but that's the one I'm going to go for here and there's a bunch of other ones in there so now we've got that added in and now I can click play and you'll see it come up slowly there we go and there is background music on there as well which adds to the effect which I think sounds really nice so give it a try for yourself so now what we can do is add some other text you can see there's some other background music that you can add that comes with the built-in library or you can add in your own music from your own uh, computer which you've got downloaded and stuff like that if you want to so I'm just going to use their one that comes built in so next up let's add some uh, text on some of the images there so on our second slide we can well we can add more pictures to this if we want to and uh, we're just going to go to our second image here and uh, add a, a bit of text in there to tell you what that car is now that's an AC Cobra which is one of my favorite cars and it probably is my favorite car of all time and uh, we'll just add some stuff here so let me go into text so now we can add a bit of text here so let me just put in here the name of the car this is the Chevrolet uh, Corvette and this is a 1957 you can see that sort of effect I've got there now on that car and uh, it's sort of transparent so you can still see the image now you can change the amount of time that that text is going to come up on the screen and you can do that by using the blue sliders at the bottom so let me just show you here what it's going to look like so let's just play this here now we've missed the second one but I'll add one to that in a second we've got AC Cobra there as you can see and we've also got the Chevrolet and that's how that looks now if you think that they've staying on the screen for too long you can actually shorten that up by using the blue sliders here so these blue sliders you can just drag that down and it won't show the text on the screen for as long as it did just there it shorten that up a little bit so you can spend a lot more time messing around with this because obviously uh, it is time consuming and I'm going to click done here and we'll do the same for the other one as well now I'm not going to do all of these images I just want to give you the idea of how this works 
there we go so now let's go from from there now you can also do some other ones as well so let's move on to the next stage here and do a little playback here and you'll see what this looks like now there obviously is music playing as well and you can see it's starting to come together good bit of panning and zooming going on there bit of text coming up on the sides as you can see and of course you can spend more time adding whatever sort of style you want in to your sort of video that you're creating as you can see there looks quite nice and this is all done with the built-in uh, photo app inside uh, Windows 10 which probably a lot of people don't even know you can do this inside Windows 10 now this is going to be great for those quick uh, video slides that you want to create with your holiday snaps or children birthday parties anything like that you can do it with a built-in app inside Windows 10 it doesn't need a lot of high skill set to do this it's very simple and uh, you can just add in, uh, stuff to your little storyboard there and make the video and you're good to go it's that simple so let's go ahead and uh, save our project so what you need to do here is I'm going to go up to the top here now it's not completed but you get the general idea now so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to the top and save our project it's an ATP and of course we can use this and export this to wherever we want to export it to you can give it a name you can see it's called car show and that will start exporting that video project that you've just created now you can obviously share that as well uh, via inside the app if that's what you want to do it will start popping up with this screen here and you'll get the finished article you can then share it by using any of these buttons or you can just uh, save it uh, to your desktop and play it as a video and create your own uh, discs or whatever it is you want to do with your uh, project so you can see here is our video file and this is the end result and it looks quite nice I think just a couple of minutes work and you're going to get some nice cool results just like this uh, that look actually quite good once you've uh, added all your images in that you want to do and this could be for your holiday birthdays as I said weddings or anything like that and it just adds a nice little effect to your photos anyway that's going to be about it for this video that's how you can create awesome videos inside the Windows uh, photo app my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one's been helpful to you guys I shall see you again for another video real soon if you want to chat pop on our discord server the links in the video description thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos